It's an interesting paradox, isn't it? When you let go, people often seem to come back. Have you noticed this too? A friend, a loved one, someone important, they drift away, and when you give them distance, they return. Why is it that when we let go, people are drawn back to us? Today, let's explore this phenomenon, and perhaps we'll uncover something even deeper. How letting go can change not only our relationships, but also our own lives. In my early years as a monk, I met a man who was deeply troubled by his relationships. He said, I try so hard to keep people close, to hold on to them. But somehow, the more I cling, the further they go. He felt a sense of despair and frustration, as though his love was pushing people away. And I understood. Many of us confuse closeness with attachment, love with control. But real connection, true closeness, is like an open hand, not a clenched fist. I told him, think of a butterfly. If you try to capture it, it flies away. But if you simply sit quietly, it may come and rest on your hand. When we hold too tightly to someone, we create a force that often has the opposite effect, we push them away. People, like butterflies, need space to breathe and to be. It's in giving them that freedom that they may choose to return. You see, true connection is not about control, it's about trust. But there's something else here, something powerful. When we give distance, we are not only allowing the other person space, we are allowing ourselves space. Sometimes, we become so entangled in others' lives, emotions, or expectations, that we lose sight of our own. And so, in giving distance, we also give ourselves the gift of self-discovery, of finding balance. There was a young woman who came to our monastery for guidance. She had been deeply in love, but the relationship had become strained. She was always the one trying to make things right, always giving, never receiving. She felt exhausted, yet she couldn't bring herself to step back. Finally, with much hesitation, she decided to create space, not because she wanted him to come back, but because she needed to rediscover herself. And a funny thing happened, after some time, he reached out to her again, but by then, she had grown stronger. She had found a sense of peace within herself, and she was no longer dependent on his presence for her happiness. This brings us to a profound truth. Sometimes, people come back not because we've given them distance, but because we've grown stronger. They are drawn to the energy of self-respect, of self-love. When we are no longer tied to the idea of needing someone, we become like a lighthouse, shining with a light that others are naturally drawn to. In a world that often teaches us to hold on, to cling to what we value, letting go can feel counterintuitive. But letting go is an act of faith. It's saying, I trust that what is meant to be will find its way back to me, and what isn't will fall away. You might be wondering, does giving distance mean I no longer care? Not at all. It means we care enough to want what's best, for ourselves and the other person. When we love with attachment, we often place expectations on them, but when we love freely, we let go of those expectations. And this is when love grows, it is no longer forced, it flows naturally. Creating distance is also an invitation for us to look inward. Ask yourself, why do I feel the need to hold on so tightly? What am I afraid of losing? Often, when we give ourselves time, we realize that the answers lie within us. Many people are afraid to be alone, thinking that solitude means emptiness. But solitude can be a deep, beautiful journey to self-understanding, a journey that fills us from within. When we stop looking outside ourselves for validation, we find strength we never knew we had. So, if you are here, wondering why someone returned when you gave them distance, remember this, the distance was not only for them, it was also for you. To rediscover your own worth, to grow, to let go of the need to control. And in that letting go, you became more yourself, a person who others are naturally drawn to, not because they are needed, but because they are welcomed. Let me leave you with a thought. Love, like all things in nature, needs room to breathe. Closeness is not built through holding on, it's built through respect, trust, and space. When we give others freedom, we show them love without chains. And in doing so, we find peace within ourselves. If you are watching this and feel the urge to hold on to someone, remember that true love is not about possession, it's about presence. Love deeply, but love freely. And if they come back, welcome them, but know that their return is not a measure of your worth. You are whole as you are. Thank you for listening. I hope this message brings you clarity and peace. Remember, 
let go, trust, and let love come as it may. And if this resonates with you, feel free to share your journey in the comments. Until next time, walk with awareness, and may your path be filled with light and love. Have you experienced someone returning after giving them space? Share your story below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and join our community for more lessons in mindfulness and self-growth.